Alright, welcome to this rendition of Study Time. I pray that you are having a blessed day thus far and know that it will get better. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this this morning. It won't be before you long. I want to just encourage you um, with Study Time this week, um, just with a song. A lot of people need encouragement at the moment. So, um, as I was in study last night, this song came across my mind. I haven't heard it in a while. But it came across my mind, and I said, wow, let me just share this with study time for today. And so I pray that this song bless you. The name of the song, or I think it's the name of the song. If it's not, you know what I'm talking about. But Show Yourself Mighty. Um, and some of the words is show yourself mighty, show yourself strong, show yourself mighty in the midst of the storm. When times are troubled, he will give us a song. Show yourself mighty, show yourself strong. So no matter what you may be going through at this moment, God can show himself mighty and he can show himself strong in your relationship. So I pray that this song bless you and help you through your day. Have a great one. I thank God for this song. This song has been an inspiration to me. It helped me go through some things. And I want to encourage you today. I know it looks rough. I know it looks tough. Listen to these words. Hang on in there. You're going to make it. Shh, listen to this. Show yourself my Show yourself strong, show yourself awesome in the midst of the storm. For in the time of trouble, he will give us a song. So show yourself mighty and show yourself strong. Show yourself mighty and show yourself strong. Everybody hey. say, show yourself mighty. Yeah. Show yourself strong. Show yourself awesome. Show in the midst of the storm, in the, of the, storm. In the time, the time of trouble, he will what? give us a song. Everybody show. say, show yourself mighty, show yourself strong, show yourself mighty, show yourself, show yourself Somebody needs 
gonna do it? I said he's gonna do it. Do I have a witness in the building? Won't you raise your hand? He's gonna do it before you get home tonight. Before you wake up in the morning. God, we love you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, give him your best praise. Somebody give him your best praise. Come on, give him your best praise. Welcome to the prayer for forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this video over and over again. And allow the Word of God concerning forgiveness, renewal, and repentance of sins to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together here online and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you shall surely be. And anything we agree upon as touching you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. I lift up those watching this video and we come into agreement and lift up forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. Father, your word says that if we ask for mercy and for forgiveness, you will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Purely on the basis of the promises of forgiveness in your word, with all feeling aside, we believe that the listener is forgiven. Humbly they come before your throne to receive this grace and mercy. Help the listener to forgive themselves and let the past go. We declare in agreement that Jesus is Lord over the listener, and if they believe in their heart that you raised him from the dead, they will be saved with heaven being their eternal home. We receive it and we praise you, Father. Help the listener's unbelief. Their slate is wiped clean right now. In the face of any feeling of guilt and unworthiness, the listener receives their forgiveness from you. The guilt is for leaving and the sin is removed because of your love for them. You have forgiven their sins completely. They are blessed. God in heaven, you have forgiven them because of what Jesus has done. It is not about what they do or don't do. It is by grace through faith that they have forgiveness. They cannot earn it, but you have freely given forgiveness to them because they asked. Praise the Lord. Renew them right now by your spirit in Jesus' name. We speak refreshing over their mind, will, emotions, and body right now in Jesus' name. You, Father, are holding nothing against them. You, Father, are not holding anything back from them. You chose the listener in Christ before the foundation of the world that they should be holy and blameless in your sight. Thanks be to you. In Jesus, they have redemption, deliverance, and salvation through his blood, the remission, forgiveness of their offenses, shortcomings, and trespasses in accordance with the riches and the generosity of your gracious favor. Father, the listener has received your son, Jesus. They believe in his name. Through Jesus, you have given them the right to become your child. Thank you for forgiving them entirely and absolving them from all guilt. They are more than conquerors through the blood of Jesus. They are set free from the past in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to the Prayer for Salvation. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Father God. Choosing to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the most important decision you will ever make. Remember, it's not about how you feel after you pray. When the Bible says it, that settles it. And God promises to save you when you ask. God's word promises, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. By His grace, God has already done everything to provide salvation for you, regardless of your past. Your part is to simply believe and receive. So the very moment you commit your life to Jesus Christ, the truth of His Word instantly comes to pass in your spirit, and when you are born again, there is a brand new you. Pray out loud after me. 
in Jesus, I confess that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. By faith in your word, I receive salvation now. Thank you for saving me. I am now reborn. I am a Christian, a child of Almighty God. I am saved. Thank you, Jesus.